Hey guys, welcome back to Nicole's View. So um, on this wrongful conviction day, uh, we're going to remember the folks who have been wrongfully convicted uh, of crimes. And I don't know if you guys remember this woman uh, from Texas. Her name is Crystal Mason. Well, her prison sentence begins or begun last Thursday. Uh, if you remember her story, uh, she was sentenced to prison for voting. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, she had a prior, uh, I guess, felony or whatnot for tax evasion or uh, let me see, it was something to do with taxes. I'll read the um, the article so you guys can understand even more. But basically, I guess she had this uh, felony violation or whatever, and she wasn't able to uh, vote. She wasn't supposed to vote or something to that extent. And basically i guess she didn't know and it came back to basically haunt her and they sentenced this uh woman to five years in prison so when we say the attacks are real um at any given moment they can try to come after you for anything it doesn't matter it doesn't matter so i'm reading this from the guardian and it says, Crystal Mason begins prison sentence in Texas for crime of voting. Crystal Mason, the woman who became the poster child for voter suppression when she was sentenced to five years for casting a ballot in Texas, has gone into federal prison at the start of her ordeal. Mason, 43, surrendered voluntarily on Thursday to authorities and was taken into federal prison in Fort Worth, Texas. She left her three children behind this is what they love doing breaking up our families in her final facebook post before she went inside she wrote this fight is not over i'm glad god chose me for this journey i'm walking in there no tears and head hung high <sighs> sister i have much respect for you wow this is crazy Mason's crime was to cast a ballot in the 2016 presidential election. An African-American woman, she had been encouraged by her mother to do her civic duty and vote in her case on behalf of Hillary Clinton. And today I, to, to that I say, where is Hillary Clinton? Where are all these female feminist ran groups when you need them? Where are they? You know, besides being on this lynch mob, uh, witch hunt of believe the women, where are the women believing in this woman, helping her to fight this, to call out this injustice? Where are these groups? And this is what we say time and time and time again. They are nowhere to be found. They are nowhere vouching for you. Nowhere. They're vouching for women like this, uh, with the guy, the going running for the Supreme Court, Kavanaugh. That's where they're at. That's where they're at. They're out, out here vouching for a liar, an extortionist named Andrea Constant. Before this Crystal Mason, where the system is, you know, was out of line. This was out of line, even if she did it by accident. Which I, I, that's what it sounds like to me. It was an accident. And they still threw her in jail. Okay? This is your system. <sighs> when she turned up to the polling station, her name was not on the register. So she cast a provisional ballot that was never counted. She did not read the small print of the form that said that anyone who has been convicted of a felony as she had, having previously been convicted of tax fraud, was prohibited from voting under Texas law. The Guardian highlighted her plight last month. For casting a vote that was not counted, she will now serve 10 months in the federal system. While locked up, it is likely that her final appeals in state court will be exhausted, which means she could be passed at the end of the 10 months directly to state custody for a further five years. Five years. 
her lawyer, Allison Grinter, said she was dismayed to see Mason ripped from her family. This is an act of voter intimidation. It This is all it is. This is a throwback to uh, Negro, count how many uh, candies is in that jar. Count how many um, pennies or dimes or quarters is in that jar. This is what this is. Uh, not the will of a free people, okay? This is an act of voter intimidation, not the will of a free people. Grinter added, make no mistake, this is a clarion call to our over police and over prosecuted communities of color. You are not welcome in the voting booth, and any step out of line will be punished to the full fullest excuse me extent of the law. And this is why they don't want folks uh, who are in jail to vote. This is why. This is why. So the more of you who have any type of. Uh, records felonies whatever misdemeanors this is what they do to so you can't get in there and, and vote okay this is what they want they want more of this they're going to be doing more of this okay uh mason's case is one of the most dramatic examples of voter suppression in texas yes right here in this i gotta say it racist ass state of mind this is this is how they do uh, the state has been at the forefront of Republican moves to place hurdles in the way of voting since 2013 when the U.S. Supreme Court overturned a key element of the Voting Rights Act uh, that had prevented largely Southern states from discriminating against minor minority excuse me, citizens. The state has one of the most strict voter ID laws in the country requiring individuals to show proof of identity and to register to vote at least 30 days before any election. Fort Worth, under its Republican district attorney, has been particularly hardline not only prosecuting Mason but also going after a Hispanic woman, Rosa Ortega, for mistakenly voting as a non-U.S. citizen. Ortega, 37, who had permanent resident status in the U.S., having come to the country as an infant, was sentenced to eight years in prison to be followed by deportation to her native Mexico. Since her conviction, she has disappeared uh, and is presumed to have self-deported. Fort Worth's harsh treatment of illegal voters is paradoxical in that it has among the worst turnout rates in America. In recent city council elections, the turnout was 6%. 6%. Okay, and that is the end of that. So, yeah, we have this woman being sent to prison because she voted. Um, and I don't know if you know, it was by accident. I feel like it was possibly by accident. Maybe she thought that, you know, she could vote. I don't know. But to have to sentence her to five years, this is to send a message to you. This is all this is. This is to say, hey, Negroes, if you step out of line, you do anything, anything to think you're going to try to get one over, especially voting, especially, you know, we know you guys turn out in large numbers. You know, this is what we're going to do to you. Okay, this is what they do on a daily basis. Forget all their crooks on the Republican side. They are going after you. And this is what this wrongful conviction day is all about. They didn't have to sentence her to prison. They could have gave her a way way lighter sentence if any in my opinion so you know it, it pisses me off to see this um but i support this sister 100 percent um and if there's any way i can help we can help i definitely want to see i, I gotta look into this because this is disgusting i, I mean you know but this is the state this is this country. They're doing this all over, but especially here in this racist ass state. Okay, it, that is just what it is. You know, but my heart goes out to her family and her kids because she does not need to be in jail right now. 
absolutely 100% racist. This is all this is. All right. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this story. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.